Well, we're loading up and moving out. Got the wifey in the third gen. I'm gonna be loading up in the nasty. And we're gonna be doing a couple of things. We gotta film some advertisements for the third gen here. And then we're gonna make a video going over the nasty red. Here comes the wife in the third gen. I'm telling you guys, that thing is nasty. It's murdered out and it looks so freaking good rolling down the road. Oh my gosh. So good looking. Guys, I told you yesterday that we were going to go, well, not yesterday, but a couple days ago, two days ago, that we were going to go over some things with Nasty Red that... You know, I wasn't, some things I'm not positive on whether or not I want to for sure do them or whether or not you guys want me to do them, but there are certain things that I do absolutely want to get done on this truck. And most of these things aren't even like needs that the truck like has to have to drive. It's just things that I'd like to have done with it. And I thought maybe you guys would want to hear it on the build list and that way you guys had an opportunity to let me know whether you do or do not like some of these ideas. That way I don't waste money on things that you guys don't want done or I don't spend money on certain things and you guys would rather see other things happen. So um, let's get on over to the barn here and we're gonna go over just a couple of those things and exactly what they are. But make sure you guys are active in the comments on this video. I really need the comments under this video to let me know what you guys do and don't wanna see on this thing to get this thing finished up. I'm telling you guys, LNPDG 26. This one bad dude right there. What in the heck? Oh, it's these nuts and bolts rattling. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, I love driving the nasty. Oh man, it is a lot of fun, I, I will say. I got to drive this thing for three hours yesterday. Oh man. No problem merging with compounds. <laughs> thing just freaking builds boost and sends it. Okay guys, so we are here with the nasty red 12 out here and I was gonna show you guys around the truck again and go over a few things that we're planning on doing to the truck and a few things that I'm gonna ask you guys if you want us to do them or not. And I'm gonna get Reagan's opinion on something as well. So let's get into it. Hopefully guys enjoy the little dramatic intro and then we're gonna go over a couple things that we are for sure doing and some other things that are on the table for debate. So first thing I'm gonna list is tint. The truck definitely could use some tint. It has zero tint and from factory, there was literally zero tint back in the day as well. So there's nothing on this glass at all. I wouldn't mind having a tint done that way. It's not a fish bowl. Um, one of the things we're gonna do for sure as well is new dash top, which is already on the way. We're gonna take all the bolts out of this one, put a new one in, bolt it in and then fix the headliner. Those are some interior things that are going to be absolutes. We are going to do those items. They're not up for debate. Um, in terms of the flatbed, it's pretty much still in new shape, so we're not going to mess with that. Wheels and tires, they're anthems. The tires have like 2,000 miles on them, so we're not worried about that. We're going to keep those as well. In terms of lighting and stuff like that, we're gonna keep the headlights the way that they are. They're LEDs, they're bright, they're awesome. We've already, we've got a third brake light on the way. And in terms of the cosmetics, overall, that's it for the most part of appearance. We're gonna be trying to replace the steering box here with a redhead steering box, maybe upgrade the steering shaft. But you know, 
Uh, the steering shaft, not positive on that, but the steering box, I think I'd like to replace that for sure. And the steering stabilizer uh, shock on the, I don't know what it's the track bar, just up front there by the axle. Um, replace that with a new one. That way it's got that replaced to also create a little bit better steering as well because drivability, these things after so many years kind of sucks in terms of the steering wheel. Um, but like Reagan's got, you have a redhead box? Yeah. She's got a redhead box and she's got a steering stabilizer bar and all this kind of stuff. And her truck steering is great and it's lifted 35s. You can cruise 70 in that thing and it's pretty darn easy to drive and it's pretty comfortable. Um, so we want to make sure that this is very comparable to that so that it's enjoyable to drive. And then paint. What would you say about the paint, Reagan? Like when you look at this truck and you're keeping in mind it's a 96, it's a work truck. Like when you look at the paint, I would say it's not show quality, so it looks very good on pictures, and, I mean, it looks good in person, but there are things that, you know, you can look at and you could call it for, but I do the same thing for Rosie, so it's kind of a tough debate for us whether, you know, we should put money into the paint just as is. it's a farm truck that likes to party but you know like i don't know i don't know how to say it guys so here's what i'm torn up about the paint it, it doesn't have any peeling clear coat nothing like that but it's just not perfect like when you look at the truck it looks amazing even from this close you're like oh this is cool it's got the two-tone it's good looking but then like you get a real close and you're like it's just not like that shiny. It's almost it like, it almost looks like a vinyl wrap. You know what I'm saying? Like it almost looks like the truck was wrapped with this two-tone scheme more than it does like a high quality, glistening, sparkly paint job. But yeah, but I mean like, it's just, it's not perfect. Like, I, I don't know how to put it. Yeah, it it's tough. Like, yeah, like it looks great. I guess it's tough for us because we're comparing it to all the really good paint jobs that we've seen together. I know. And we're just used to that now. So. Um, and, and here's the other thing too. I'm also being critical about it because I already paid for a paint job on the truck. And that's why I'm like, do I want to spend $5,000 plus dollars again to paint the same truck again, the same paint scheme again, you know? And it's tough because like, like for most people, when they see this truck and they keep in mind that it's a 9612 valve and all this other stuff, they think, dang, this thing is so sick, dude. Awesome truck, looks amazing. And I'm like, oh, cool. But like, I guess since I already paid for the paint job, the thoughts of paying for it again just kind of bother me a little bit, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm being more critical about the paint because I paid for it. And if you didn't pay for the paint, you might just think, oh, well, if it just came with the truck like that, looks good. So essentially what we were asking with the paint, we were talking about the paint and our opinions on it is, do you guys want to see us dump thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into getting it all stripped down to bare metal and repainted? Or do you guys think it looks good the way that it is? Um, yeah, anyways, let me know down in the comment section below. We are actually in the nasty road right now headed out to look at some skid loaders and side by sides and tractors and whatever else this place has dad's falling behind in the king ranch this has been his plan since he decided he was going to sell a lot of his older stuff that he didn't use oh <laughs> oh yeah this one's seen better days <laughs> It has it has seen better days and it hasn't seen a pressure washer recently. Huh. But you know what? I bet it still runs great. So this is one of the reasons for selling the other stuff, right? Conversion of horsepower. Conversion of, well, yeah. So we're over here looking at some skid loaders, tractors, stuff like that. Were you even satisfied with what happened at the auction? People were, out, were wondering. It was a good experience in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> it was entertaining it was, it was definitely... until you were the one not getting what you wanted out of your stuff. I think overall, I got what I would consider my minimums. And uh, I was very thankful for as well as the John Deere did. I would like a little bit more 
but the dozer I was very happy with. The backhoe fiasco, not the best situation. Yeah, I didn't so, tell him anything about that. So you want to sum it up? If you watching any of the other videos, the fastest starting piece of equipment I've ever owned or worked on or around or even in the same states, maybe even continent, that backhoe, if you just breathe on a key, that thing ignites every time like that. I was, I always told him, I'm like, it's, it started like it's been idling yep. all winter. It's just, it's an amazing like, starting piece of equipment. And we show up there and it's the only piece of machinery like not on and so i got to so i thought well i'm going to go start this up i don't know why they didn't start up and here i think because the way that key works is you touch the key and as soon as you touch the key you have to turn it off and then you use the uh basically yeah. the fuel shut off to be able to shut yeah. it off but if you leave the key on then it keeps engaging the starter and so although i i told them um, there's a thousand people that work there, so. Who knows that um, the message got across. Yeah, or... or there's people jumping on and off the tractors all day long, and who, and who knows who, how many people have been there all week long looking at stuff, so. I don't know, I'm not pointing fingers, because I don't know exactly who did it, otherwise I might. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I think all it needs is a new starter, but because it wasn't starting, then when they went to go auction off, they auctioned it off as a non-starting piece of equipment. Well, we got her really off the trailer strong. and now it won't start. I'm like, it's not you've got to be. I mean, they had oh, some that were just rusted pieces of crap, you know, with the hydraulic lines leaking everywhere. I mean, there was like literally one beside it and the one beside that. The hoe on the back was leaning on the fence because yeah, the hydraulic lines couldn't hold any fluid. The, yeah, everything was just like there was, no, there was nothing to hold everything up. I mean, there was even one two down from mine. You could see like the 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 fluid a trail of fluid where to they it. pulled it up and they backed it in like there was like and my stuff is all up and tight and perfect because I just had everything repacked and hydraulic lines in but when when you advertise it as something that doesn't start then they, and nobody uh, got the story nobody understands uh, anything about it we do but everybody's like oh well then I'm not bidding up on it and you can't really tell anybody and so essentially that didn't go as well so so he had to bid I, on his own machine I had to buy, buy it back because it was only up at like three thousand dollars i'm like i'm not letting it go for three thousand we just had somebody offer me nine, nine just the <laughs> week before so i'm like that'd be dumb so i ended up having to buy it back and now i just have to go through and um figure out how to get it fixed and kind of go from there because busy week it's a holiday weekend so everything was closed couldn't get a hold of anybody and the next this coming weekend in a couple days is my daughter's wedding so then we're tied up with that so it is what it is but overall good experience never really been to an equipment auction like that before it, as someone who sold stuff so that was a lot of fun and the, the staff and stuff were super great so it was good what do you think but about what you got for the gooseneck though i was a little bit i mean here's the way because some that. guys are like you only got 9500 bucks yeah 9500 bucks for the gooseneck and I mean, in all reality, like this, the trailer market's is supposedly pretty hot for those. Now, yeah. we're next door to a trailer place right here, and they have a pretty good selection. I didn't look at their goosenecks, but, you know, when I called Gator a couple months ago, they said, we can't even make your trailer for, you know, for less than 12, 13,000. So to go to for 95, I mean, the only thing I can think of is, you know, it is a 2014. It was literally barn kept the whole time. And, and probably had a total of 20 times it was ever hauled with something on it maybe yeah, i mean you know when i hook it up to my king ranch it tells you how many hours that that trailer has been hooked up yeah and i think it was like 4100 hours total you know what i mean like yeah in seven years which isn't nothing you know what i mean no but i mean even the woods faded on it it's still solid because it was barn kept but it's only faded because it sat with skylights above. yeah there's you know skylights I mean? in the barn so yeah it's just like you know hey brown as well so but I was a little bit disappointed in that. I was expecting it to go at least above 10, you know? So yeah. we got close enough to where after after not selling the backhoe, I was kind of like, uh, I was kind of down. Like, <laughs> when I say down, like I'm not like walking around depressed or anything like that, but I was just yeah. kind of like, dang it. <laughs> I don't want to have to figure out how to haul everything back. So I, yeah. looked at, I looked at manure spread to go a little bit cheaper than what I would have liked. I mean, everybody who sells stuff wants to get top dollar out of it, but. All in all, I think it, it was a great sale. I got my minimums out of it. And so now the next thing is, is to try to figure out, do I want to reallocate those funds into something, you know, that I would use 
in this season of life more practical yeah like four wheelers and no, just, <laughs> jet skis and stuff like that right <laughs> no way more practical yeah, exactly so that's what we're doing here is we're just uh, i'm in the i'm kind of looking for it like skid motors so that's why we came here um, they only have a small selection at this site and one's plastered with um, concrete that's dried up <laughs> yeah one did not know the, the what a bath was like apparently <laughs> And I was really shocked at the other one. You know, it's it's only a 2015 here, but it's a rusty, the cage is all rusty. It's a rusty disaster. So I'm not really interested in those. So I don't want to spend a fortune because I don't know I don't use it that much. But I want to get something that's going to at least hold value and not like rust apart my barn, not be any. Yeah. The only reason I'm thinking that way is because we're getting ready to sell our, our primary residence, and then you know that way it'll kind of reduce my time having to try to upkeep two properties. I can devote more time to doing what I've always wanted to do, and that would require some kind of yeah movement. So. And then I'm kind of excited too. I'll probably consider getting another UTV. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to look at a few different ones. I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually considering getting a Kubota. Yeah. It's just more they're work cool. oriented. I mean, they're work oriented. Like I was always, we dogged on them forever because they're just because so they're slow. slow. But you know, with grandkids now, and then um, just you know, it'd be nice to kind of go on the trails, get some firewood. You know, you can pull hay wagons around with it. hydraulic dump bed. Hydraulic dump bed. You know, resale um, value in ten years. <laughs> that's what's really impressive. Yeah, I mean, we had the Polaris and it was a lot of fun. But one thing about the Polaris was, I think we had to replace the U joints and stuff in it. You had, no, you had to replace. You had to replace the axle shafts and the the drive belt. And it was so squeaky. That's what I didn't like about that thing. Like, like everything after squeaked. After the first year, like everything was so. In the four wheel, was the same way. It just squeaked constantly. I don't know how many times i would try to like wd-40 WD oh yeah putting like rubber washers in between stuff to try to keep it down but it just yeah uh, it didn't work out too well so i'm thinking about a kubota just to, to be able to use practical at this point and i know it's not going to get rough house because it goes too slow to get rough house. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to do donuts <laughs> in it <laughs> yeah. no uh, it is what it is but yeah so that's what i'm looking forward to at this point it's just kind of reallocating some of those things and things that I would currently use more commonly, you know, on a regular basis and then um, kind of go from there. So of course we'll, we'll miss this a little bit, but in the same sense, the only, it took up some space. That's one thing about the barn now is I, <laughs> I went to the barn and I was like, there's nothing in there. So well, there's a lot of crap in there, but, um, but it's, uh, he's like, I've got to find more stuff to put in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm the trailer, the John Deere or this thing's in there. It just opens up a lot more space. So, Space, yeah yeah well that's the update guys that's what, it is. that's what's going on with all the stuff that sold and the plans of replacement are in consideration we will keep yeah. you updated on what happens in the meantime don't forget to buy merch and buy some more merch and a couple more pieces of merch and yeah <laughs> i tell you what though that's uh that black third gen it's got it's it's one of those things that catches my eye. Like at first, the little dorky mirrors I had on it, wasn't too fond of those. But now you put those fourth gen mirrors on, those new ones. Oh yeah. It looks freaking sweet. Yeah. yeah. So if you haven't already, man, if I could enter, I would. So yeah, that I thing, it. it's it's clean. For comparison, he doesn't drive this truck much and it's got 116,000 on it now. Close to that, yeah. that truck's an 03, 10 years older and it's got 84. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Hardly driven. California truck. Got to get in it to win it. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.